everybody. We're live on Facebook. We're here at the Inner City Longform Improv Jam. Why don't you everybody turn on their cameras? Give them the waves. They were here for the jam. Woo! Yay! Absolutely. Now, I banish thee for the time being. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you what we got going on. Here is what we got going on. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Please stand by. Please stand by. What are we here for? The Inner City Long Form Improv Jam. We already clapped for that. Yeah. What are we doing here? Well, when you got here, we asked you what you wanted to do, uh, non-musical or not musical, and our computing minds randomly put you onto teams. We have this music, we have this random generator called uh, Just Talking About It. And you've been assigned to one of, I think we have three teams tonight, two uh, non-musical and one musical. Uh, our general goal time is about two hours. Uh, not 15 minute sets, I think we're doing 20 minute sets since we have three teams. Um, don't get too creative, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. Uh, we do sweeps and tag outs. Uh, when we sweep, if you want to sweep a scene, you're in a scene, turn on your camera, wave your arms from side to side and go sweep. Everyone turn on your cameras again, let's do it. We all go, sweep! Sweep, everyone knows how to do it. Thank you, sweep, that's how I you can't see us, but I'm Don Pardo. Don Pardo, yes. We can also do a tag out. You might turn on your camera and say, tag out Dawn, who's on screen right now. And she would tag out and I would come and assume and take her, take that uh, position to somebody else. Yes, I tagged you out, Dawn. <laughs> but you're you're still welcome everywhere. Uh, we will have a timer for each set. Uh, and when there's two minutes left, that person will appear on screen and show you have two minutes left. So it says, hey, time to maybe wrap it up. If you haven't You've been on screen in a bit get on there if you're in a musical scene let's get to that end scene let's start to to wrap things up get uh make that beat end uh make that herald uh coalesce if gosh if you wanted to do a herald good luck to you uh if you're in the audience uh please mute, mute your camera obviously and mute, mute your video uh we don't want to hear stuff in the background uh if you're on the team though Keep your camera, keep your audio on. We'd love to hear the team laugh. We want to hear your teammates laugh to make sure they know what, you know what they're doing. Um, hey, if you forget to turn it off, we might mute you. Colin White says you may get muted, um, but we can always turn you back on. It's, it's not, not that big of a deal. Hey, clean that. If you want to make it look clean, hide all the non-video participants. If you don't know how to do that, send me a private message and I don't know, maybe I'll walk you through it. Maybe I'll just take you to tell you to turn on and off your computer. I don't know. Uh, so that's what it looks like in gallery view. Uh, we're streaming on Facebook. So copy that link in the top corner and share it and say, hey, I'm performing here with it with uh, inner city. Uh, so here we are. Uh, sensitive topics. Let's stay away from these political COVID-19 religion, spirituality, blue humor. There's a place for it. It's not here. Uh, stalking, socioeconomic disadvantage, cursing. Eh, it's, we're, we're adults here, but we don't need to go there. It's just, it's, it's funnier. It's funnier when you say poop instead of the other word. Uh, not exhaustive list. Uh, just don't say, don't, don't go to poop either. Let's, let's just say that. Uh, <laughs> we're not, we're not going to flash each other. We're not going to talk about rape, kidnapping, mis miscarriage, or suicide. We're not going to do any of the isms or any talk about any mental illness or that makes any person's identity the butt of the joke. Uh, it's not an exhaustive list. Uh, you, you'll know what something is when it makes you uncomfortable. And if it does, call a timeout. Turn on your camera and just say, hey, timeout, let's, this violates our guidelines. Let's just move to the next one. We'll, we'll just sweep the scene and we'll go on to the next scene. Uh, if you want to send uh, and me or any of the other volunteers a note about a timeout, go ahead and do it because this is a fun and safe space and we're all here to have fun. Uh, try to have one person speaking at a time because uh, that's how Zoom works. Uh, treat everybody with respect. Don't be rude. In the, in the group chat, say nice things about each other. Say, wow, that was fun. Don't say, wow, that could have been funnier. Why would anyone say that anyway? They wouldn't. Um, sometimes I like to use puppets. Other people like to use puppets. But let's see your actual face as well. Here's the puppet here, but here's my face. You see what I'm looking at. Um, manage your playing time. Look out for your teammates. Um, if you're improvising music, don't worry about the lag. Uh, well, the lag will carry through. We got, uh, we got Mark with us tonight. Who's going to be a great MD is going to support you the whole way through. Woo! Uh, if he ever gets up there. Uh, that's your last scene. 
uh, have fun. That's fun. That's what we're here for. Stick around to the end. We'll have a group game. We'll have a group line game. We'll have a featured troop announcement for next week. Feedback, light mingling, a whiteboard where you get to draw and do do stuff and and spread the word. Socialization, socialization, because we have somehow everything got out of order. I think that was me. There we are, because we have a headliner this week. Woo! Chris George and Bill Arnett. A featured troop, we robots. Very excited. I just improvised with Chris George last night, actually, uh, in Chicago, Illinois. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. And that is scene. I don't know if that was the quickest ever, but it was a really quick. It was a really quick time. Hey, I don't have the uh, the the uh, sheet. Five minutes and thirty seconds. This man's a legend. I am a legend. I am legend. Wasn't that that's most one is Faustino. <laughs> Hold it! I bring it up the text sheet because I didn't have it open because we're going to our first first uh, group, and that is our team one, which is non musical, and our host for this is Faustino Solis. Yay! Now introducing, uh, I'm uh, introducing team one non musical. But before we do that, I'd like to introduce you the timekeeper for all the way from Corpus Christi, Texas. It's Don Robertson. Hooray! Ooh. How long is set one, Faustino? Set one is 20 minutes long. Thank you for reminding me. Because we're doing three three sets this time, each team doesn't get 15 minutes. We get 20 minutes. Look at that timer. And actually, technically, it's not even 20 minutes. But we look out for uh, around 20 minutes. We look for an organic out. So he got, so I, so Don's going to call that for us. But, um, I'm actually going to be playing in the first set because i got to go work after this. Um, I am from Las Vegas, Nevada. And joining me on this virtual stage tonight, we first got – Kevin Wilcox from Brooklyn. Yay. Reg the Whale from Berkeley, California. And then uh, checking to see, is Joshua Previn in the room? No. Uh Uh-oh. Well, um, I guess it's the three of us playing in this first set. Um, So to get us started, uh, Three Musketeers is a candy bar. Um, but Three Musketeers could be the name of something else besides Candy Bar. What could that be the brand name of? A cigar. Cigars. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Cigars, Three Musketeers. Thank you very much. Oh. <clears throat> Forget. It's the non... You don't... Don't breathe in. Uh, Let's try again. Um, You know, you can always just, you inhale it and out, like there's no, I mean, I get it, like it's a artsy artsy thing, but it's, you know, you can relax. (laughs) I'm, I'm really just new to the cigar thing. I've smoked lots of cigarettes and I, I haven't tried a cigar, and it's just there's a mechanism that's different about it. I'm, I, it's just difficult. It's physically difficult to not suck the air into my lungs. Like, how do you do that? I mean, just you mean you puff on it. Um, what does that mean to puff on it? Like, well, well, I mean, no, you do that, and then you just get like ash everywhere. And oh my god, I got let me get my broom. Like. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really appreciate you bringing me over here to try cigars. I, I just, I, I, I just, I haven't done it before. Is all I'm, I'm into it and everything. Yeah. Um, like, here's here's the thing. I, I, so there's the reason why I have you have the cigars is, um, I, I, I'm going to community college. Congratulations. Yeah, which means I'm not going to be around much, for longer. Oh. That's because that community is all the way out in Wisconsin. I thought that that's weird. You're traveling to a different place to go to community college there. I'm trying to just mostly get away from you. That's what it. That's what it. That's what it seemed like. But now when you now when you say it, it, it... look, look, look. I'm sorry. Just it's when it's little things like that that where it's like you know I think. I can't just keep wasting my time here at this pizza shop. I think I should just, you know, get an education. And I found 
you know, they have a degree that I kind of want to do out there. What, what could this pizza shop is like family. We like try to teach each other how to do cigars <laughs> and, and things. You're going to go all oh, this the way. This is the first time that you've, uh, you haven't even smoked a cigar before. I haven't smoked it before. It's you, the community experience here is that you're teaching me how. That's how much of a family we are. Back out, Greg. Hi there. Welcome to Madison Community College here for our program in international snark. Maybe I should have signed up for a different degree. I don't, I don't know how, I don't even know what snarky means. I just said international. I thought, man, I can go big with us. Well, it, it basically means you get to be sarcastic to people in multiple languages. Ooh, can I get an example of that? Well, uh, uh, I know what you're doing here. You're you're trying to get something for free. Until that tuition check clears, you're not getting a lesson. Hold on a second. How am I supposed to know? Like, I, how am I supposed to like val- verify? Like, I could just take my credit somewhere else. Like, I can go down to Oshkosh, Bagosh if I want to. I don't know what snark is. <laughs> Look, I haven't seen it before, so how am, I, how am I supposed to verify I can take this course if I don't know what it is? Oh, uh, you've never seen it. <laughs> I've arrived here at Snark College. Oh, coincidence, you're here as well? I <clears throat> I actually tried to sign up for the International Snarf class for a, I, uh, International did. Appreciation of Thundercats, and I think I signed up for the wrong class. Oh, oh, I yeah. feel like maybe I have yeah, the uh, wrong class too. Now that you mention it, uh, yeah, there used to be a Thundercats program here, but uh, that got discontinued because, well, let's face it, everybody taking the program was just a loser, and I don't mean that like snarkily i mean that there was actually a competition and they lost completely oh right wait is that snark i feel like i feel like it would have been somehow better if it was snarky so well, it, it, it is snark but we're also <laughs> trying to be very um you know up front we're trying to be pol- politer with our snark now I just feel like that's the opposite of, I, um, yeah, I hate to, I'm, a, I'm amazed we got accreditation. I hate to put I, it this I, way, I, it seems like this isn't a very snarky school. But I do have some good news for you both. Your tuition checks just cleared. I so, like, a I am refund. going to borrow. I, no, um, sorry, I need to call what? my credit card company here really quick. Um, tag out, uh, Kevin. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! I moved across the country just to be take a start fresh, and now I'm stuck here with I don't know who you are. I'm the guy that you left at the pizza shop. I came. Wait, what? That was that's you? Oh my! Wait, take you that mask off. Me. It's only been like uh, a week. I may have grown some beard. I I just I thought I was so inspired by you getting an education that I was like I need to get an education at the same place because. Wait, I didn't even recognize you. Take that mask off. Uh, all right, f- fine. You, I, I didn't want you. I didn't want you to know. It does seem strange to <sighs> say it. I was trying. I just. I'm so lonely out there in the, the even smaller than here town that we were in at the pizza shop. I, I just, I, I didn't know. I didn't know how to escape, and and you, no. you showed me the way. Now we're both stuck taking this class that I still not quite sure what snark is. I, I just I just looked up on this like this menu board and says that snark versus sarcasm. I think that means those are two separate things then. Yeah, but regardless of what it is, this school seems woefully underqualified to teach it. I, I feel like I feel like it may have been a a mistake for me to to follow you here. No, um, I mean I guess like it's it's thoughtful that you came out here with me. 
even though like completely without me knowing. So it is a little, it's almost like just talking a bit. Uh, it's similar. Um, I can see how but, you might, um, conflate the two very distinct actions. What do we, what do we do then? It's like we're, they took our money. So like we have to just now, we can't even just transfer, like, we can't even just transfer to a different class. Will they do that? I think we need to prepare to learn to be snarkists. Okay. Um, we cut to two snarks having a conversation. I, I don't know what that means, so I'm just going to use pin puppets. Oh, what a, what, what a thing to say. That, that isn't even very well thought out. You think that I'm trying my best and I am. I, if, it, uh, huh. if, if you were we trying your best. To, I, I don't know what it lady, means. We cut to ladies and gentlemen of the Nobel Committee, we present to you this year's Nobel Award winners in the category of snark, left puppet and right puppet. Also, their um, handler. I thought, I thought, I thought for sure I was the snarkiest. I brought all my friends here. Well, you lost. But he isn't even here. Oh, there he is. Yes, yes, we were keeping him backstage. You know, where the winners are. Oh, man. That... Get out of the way of the puppets yeah. deserves the Nobel yeah. Peace Prizes. Yes. yes, they also won the Nobel Peace Prize. They won the Stock Prize, the Peace Prize, and the prize in economics. Who knew? What? Well, shut up, for the two are our Nobel Prize winning award speech thing. Ah, fellow oddlings! I, I still don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing my best. Okay, now we need you to clear the stage so that we can announce the Nobel Prize for sweeping. For sweeping. Sweep. <laughs> Um, it's just, stop, stop. It's, I'm tired. Oh, that one was almost past me without me catching it. I saw to catch been, all the arrows, but I, I need rest. We've been training for days and you're almost there. Just need 20 more arrows oh, and then you'll, your mind will be clear. I feel that I can only, all right, fine. No, 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 continue what you're gonna say. I, you sold me on a clear mind. I was like, I could only do 19 <laughs> arrows. All right, only 19 more now, right? Because I caught this one. Yeah. In a clear mind. Like, that's what you promised me after this like 10 year quest of like, I climbed this. You're, 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 uh, teach me to have a clear mind. You've done all these crazy you're, things. You're thinking, you're, like, too much. you're thinking too much. You're thinking too much. You're thinking too much. You're thinking too much. And this is supposed to, that your life being in imminent danger is supposed to help you clear. Clear! It's supposed to, you know, take your mind off of things because you're worrying about your own life. Makes sense. Nah. I didn't even fire it at you, and you still flinched. Oh, I thought you fired it up. I was. I did fire it up. Here it comes. Wait. Oh. Goodness. That was. That was close. You confused me, Master. Oh. I'm so. Tag out the whale. Hello, it's me, uh, Mister Johnson from next door. Yes. Uh, you. Your uh, latest apprentice managed to miss seven arrows, which then went through your window and into the side of my house. Oh, I need to clarify that um, he had to miss, and 
he was supposed to miss the arrow so he wouldn't die. But you can't expect somebody to catch all those arrows all at once. They have to just dodge it the whole time. I will pay for the sighting. I bought, I know this is the third time yeah. that you've come over, but I'm sorry. This is my well-being. Yes, it's the third time this month I've had to come over and bring you all of your arrows. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I was I was going to go in the middle of the night and pick them up afterwards. But you keep picking them up, so I guess I don't have to do it. Well, yes, but you sneak over in the middle of the night and that disturbs the dogs, which then wakes my wife, who then wakes me. And, you know, frankly, you know, I'd rather you just pay for the siding than oh, having to deal with that. Well, I'm sorry that I didn't realize that Dachshund had uh, very sharp ears and couldn't sleep as easily. Thought Dachshunds were the best animals to be shooting arrows nearby anyways. Yes, well... It was until he discovered how to jump. Uh, ah, is that one of the Dachshunds now? Is it Scoobs? Scoobs is right here right now. Yes, yes. Scoobs is still hanging off this arrow. Oh, gosh. I am so sorry. Uh, let me yes. whip this arrow off. Well, this. I, 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 no, I don't want to like gain him because, you know, he is my wife's favorite dog. Um, you know, I'm just trying to tease him off, but he's got that thing caught in his teeth hard. What about uh, the other dog, Moops? Moops? Oh, yeah. Moops hasn't figured out how to jump yet, so Moops is fine. Uh, mostly Moops has been mopey. Wait, are you saying that the dogs are intentionally jumping into the way of the arrows to possibly catch them with their mouths? Well, Scoops is doing that. Moops is oh. just... Ma Master, you've been over here for for, for so long. Please, uh, uh, hey! Please. Please, oh please no! At least that none of the arrows that I missed hit any of the dogs. That's that's you all didn't, I really need to know. You didn't catch that arrow now, it's shooting out of its eyeball. I, no, it, no, it just it I just got the brow. It, okay, no, no, wait, hold on, no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh dear. no, 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 pick up the dog, pick up the dog, pick up the dog, pick up the dog. Run, 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 you're not getting your money back. Run, run. Sweep. So we've been investigating this uh, UFO that you said you saw the other night, and still you keep putting that word "said" in front every time you mention this. But yes, the one that I said that I saw. Well, we think we we think we've found out what it was that you may have seen. It was not an alien spacecraft. Okay, it was a triangle. It occupied a quarter of the sky. Yes. Um, yes, apparently um, there is an Air Force base uh, just the other side of uh, that mountain over there. And we think what you may have seen was an experimental aircraft. As you know, we have been in a race against the Russians, you know, because we are going to be the superior power here of the 1950s. This seems like bull. Well, it's good that you don't believe it, because if you had believed it, I'd have had to kill you. Wait, I'm saying that I think that your story sounds like bull. And you're saying that that's good for me. Oh, dear. Okay, hold on. Just yeah, I think it's a bit the silencer. Um, don't worry, you know, your country thanks you for... Uh, uh, anybody in here? Yes, it's me. Um, yes. I'm, I'm looking for the bathroom. Just, just show me where that bathroom is. It's just down the hall. Oh, I've shown you. I I know you that you're. It's. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, okay. Sorry. I'll, tell you I'll, I'll, I'll leave you all to you. Thank you. Sorry yeah, about that. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah. All right. So anyway, you were, you were saying something about silence. Something yes. About silence. And yes. You were, and you were while you were saying this, you were screwing a large bit of metal onto another large bit of metal. Yes. Yes. Sure it, 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 it's a gun. It's it's <laughs> a gun. 
Um, okay, I'm intrigued. You see, Can you tell me right. the so, gun? Anyway, like I said, in the interest of national security, we can't let the commies find out about what happened here. So, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Yeah, apparently the person in your bathroom is knocking. Uh, hello, not, hi. Um, do y'all work here? Like the bathroom, like the toilets, like two toilets are clogged, and like there's only like one toilet paper roll. Like, is there any like someone to replenish the toilet rolls? This is my home, sir. I, you, you get drunk every night. You forget what house you're in. You're in my house. I do work here, but I. I think that when you sober up tomorrow morning, you'll realize that it's not, it's not really my responsibility. You know what? You know, you don't want to be a snark about it. Fine. I'll, I'll figure I, it out. Oh, I went I'll to snark in school. Why? Nobody respects okay. the skills that I've learned. over the. So but, your neighbor, he's like completely wasted, like super drunk. He is. Yes. Okay. Well, that that's but actually going to be a convenient for me because, you know, I mean, you know, when he sobers up, you won't even know he's been framed. Framed? Yeah. I'm getting I'm getting these, like, this gun. Fr- uh, excuse me. One moment, sir. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Greetings to you both. Ah, uh, Gre- shoot. Greetings. Sergey, is that you? Hello, friend. How are you? It's been since a mile from the Cold War. Oh, I... Uh, I thought you were an alien and uh, you were justifying. Well, I mean, no, you're supposed to miss, stupid. I, I'm supposed to miss. Oh, I mean, I'm supposed to dodge it. (laughs) You know what? Let's shoot them together. I have guns. (laughs) Ah, how are you, Matrix, dodging all of my bullets? I've learned from the arrows. It all makes sense now. It's connected. I, you is, have learned well, my Padawan. Rip you off and dodge the bullets. No, I'm a flashback, you idiot. Ow, 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 ow. There's, there's no one can save me now except me and this gun of two. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is sweet. I think this has probably been two minutes. I'm not sure. I guess well, I think this Organic. is a scene. <laughs> Even that case, you have to make 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, show him some love. Yay. Woohoo. That was team one. Thank you, team one. And thank you, Mark Anderson, for, for underscoring. We put his PayPal up. Uh we the he works for two hours and he's not a he's not a volunteer, so please take that, go to that PayPal and uh show him some love. Thank you. Hey. Who who here has clothes? I do. Who here has um who here drinks beverages? All the time. Really? You 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 you, you resemble that remark. Well, you're you're just not going to believe it. Oh, I need someone. I'm going to stop somebody's your I'm I'm stopping your share sound for a little bit to to uh show you our Etsy page. Hey, we got an Etsy page. We got stuff. We got. Actually, no, that's the only thing that we have. I keep moving it. We're not supposed to see this stuff yet, David. Sorry. Oh. There it is. I came back to it. You want a mug? Turn on your cameras if you got some Etsy. I've got some Inner City merch. Shameless plug. Shameless. Look at that. I've, I've I've never seen I've never seen a better group of picture of cups and one T-shirt in my life. Absolutely, buy our merch. Slow slowly bankrupt our friends, and that's about it. And so we got our team two coming up, and uh, will the uh, host of team two come up? Because I don't know who it is. <laughs> I knew hey, I was coming on, and I still hey. took a bite of my apple. Hey, it's Michael A. Thank you. Team two, our first musical team of the night. Yes, this is our first musical team of the night. It'll be going for 20 minutes. On time is Nelson Morgan. Oh, if you see this woo. beautiful face giving a little wave or two fingers or whatever, that means roughly two minutes left. Also, your last scene. So you can make a big musical number or whatever. But that it's about to end. 
All right, as they call your names, hop on stage. David Shapiro from Chicago, hey, Illinois. Don Robertson from Corpus Christi, Texas. Brian Sebi from almost Chicago. Nelson Morgan from Oklahoma. Louie from Brooklyn. And capping it off, Don Sloven from the internet. Team two, get a suggestion and take it away. Oh, and of course, we've got Mark Anderson on the keys, accompanying the whole time. I'll put his name and PayPal down in the chat. Real quick, Nelson, you want to time us and play? You're, you're muted. Here. Whatever I whatever I need to do, but it's, somebody it's, else can time if they want. I, I will time. Thank you, Michael. Okay. <laughs> hey, we uh, we uh, we had a quick last minute replacement. What's something that you frequently replace one thing for another, like a clementine for an orange or butter bulb. for oil? Light or, bulb. Light bulb. Light bulb. You recently replaced light bulbs. Yep. Thank you, light bulb. Thank you, light bulb. Good light bulb. <sighs> it it's so dark in here. I can't. It, 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 is that you, Gertrude? Yeah. What I can I can barely see you. It's so We're dark in here. Bartholomew, you tur turn on the light that's above your head. No, I've, I've pulled the chain 101 times. The light won't come on. How Kinda many like you. light bulbs does it take to change a, a person? What? What? Am I supposed to change the light bulb? Are you supposed to change with a light bulb? I I can't change places with a light bulb. I'm not that shiny. I this whole idea is quite bright. Why does it always seem to be night when I'm with you? You always shine on me too. Why are you always here? Leaving me in the dark, my dear. Because you can change a light. Sometimes I think you're not such a so right. It's not you, I know. It's the bulb. It's the bulb. Can you actually tell the difference between me and the bulb? It's a filament thing. Sweep, sweep, sweep. So uh, I got uh, a review from uh, my manager today. Mm -hmm. And she, the words, I'm not happy with the words that she used, honey. It was, she said, I'm not so bright. She said, I'm, I'm dim. Is that a surprise? A little. I mean, I, I know I'm not the top of my... I'm not the I'm, I'm not the best employee. I'm not I'm not the lowest. What? I do everything on time. I'm I show up. I, honestly, it's one of the reasons I love you, though. That's that that's good and and a little difficult to hear. But at the same time, I, but I but I but I, I I thank you for saying it. We got it. We got we have to we have to talk, say these things to each other. I'm just. Not sure I could hear these things always. So my manager said that I, I'm dim. Oh. And she said I'm not too bright. Well, I mean, think of it this way. They don't have as high of expectations from you. Yeah. 
They're not going to make you work overtime? What they, they, they said something about that. I don't really understand. <laughs> I'm getting confused easily at work. Not sure what time it is to go in or come home. Not sure when it's break time, when it's lunch. Seems I'm never coming home much these days. Honey, I told you, set alarms on your phone. I can't be with you when you're not at home. I can't remind you. They say I'm dim. They tell you they are right. They say I'm not right. They say I keep repeating myself. Sometimes that's just part of life. I'm, I'm just glad. Despite the fact that apparently. Well, did I tell you? They say I'm dim. Yes, they said you're dim. I'm dim. Well, I talked to my manager today. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. I, I don't really want to have this conversation, but I think we have to. It's just a water cooler. Look, Bill, you, you're a great guy. You know, you know, I think the world of you, but you're just too cool for this office. All right. <laughs> Would you rather a lukewarm version? No, no, no. I can, I can gain new skills. No, it's not that. It's not not in terms of I'm just saying that like, you know, when when people come in, they are immediately drawn to you. Like I had a I had a meeting with a client that I've been working on for years to get this thing worked out. He saw you and he's like, no, I'm going with that guy. He is so much cooler than you. I lost my case. I I, I was um, hoping that maybe I can win your case over by having water cooler conversations. Yeah, and they're but buying I, more from you than they ever would have bought from me. I don't know. I just what, maybe I need. To are you saying what I think you're saying? I want you to teach me to be cool. I want to be like you, too cool for school. I don't know if this will work, but I just feel like a big old jerk. Well, you don't have to feel like a jerk anymore. I say you don't. Like a dirt no more. If you do what I tell you, go back to school and you just smoke and drool and then you. Now you're cool. <laughs> How to be cool? But you see that ghost two guys over there? They are cool, aren't they? Oh, I mean. Talk about cool. They don't even have to go to school. Whoa. And now I feel so much cooler than before. I'm going to win over these guys and just walked in a door. Be 
you. Always remember. Always remember. The water cooler should always be. Now it's your the water cooler. Please, please. Please, please. <clears throat> uh, sure, I'm glad that uh, stepped in here. Can I, well, uh, yeah. I mean, what? Where else would I be right now? Nowhere. Right here. Well, I, I, I appreciate that. I mean, you do have your options. And, Places you could go, but you know, you came here, and so uh, would you like a cup of coffee? Or, uh, that that would be lovely, thank you. Would you like it with some milk? Or milk, some sugar, milk? cream, whatever you got. Just loaded up, seriously loaded up. Okay. You, you know I came here for more than just coffee, though, right? Well, yeah, oh, oh, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, wow, that's, like, cool. <laughs> the $200 that I lent you, I need it back. Oh, yeah. You know that that two hundred dollars, it's a, uh, it's gone. Hey, cool cats! It's your DJ up in the DJ booth. We're just about to start a nine-hour Lou Reed All Cool Marathon. So get your cool on with Lou Reed and Lou in the background. They're playing our song. <laughs> Fine, I'll dance with you this time. Uh, I love this part. This is this is the best part of the song, which is our song. Wait, okay, that's enough. Hold on, hey, hey, DJ, DJ, DJ. Stop in, stop in the, the, the marathon for a friend. What Look, <laughs> this happens way too often. I you, you borrow money from me. I have an excuse to come over because you know that I got to pay my electric bill. And you know that money comes out of my electric bill. And then you try to seduce me. Well, you asked me to, to dance with you. So I just figured that, you know, oh, bygones is all bygones, you know. <laughs> I mean, if you, the two hundred dollars means that much to you, it's not about the money, though. I understand. I'm not real good when it comes to money. I know that. It's that way that you look at me, though. It's not fair. I know I have a look, I know. <laughs> I'm irresistible. You are. <laughs> I know. You put on them glasses and I don't know where to go. Oh. And that's why you love me. But there's something about this that won't let me be. Well, someday you'll understand how much I love you.
And maybe one day you'll understand all that you put me through. $200. It ain't that much when you live the way I just have to do it. <clears throat> Make me feel so guilty when I'm with you. So what do we do? DJ, play something which we can dance to. Money. I need the two hundred dollars. Can't you just be courteous for once? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go tomorrow and I'm going to get something from the bank. It's not about the money, it's the way that you make me think. I'm never gonna ask you again. Not one more time. Like, I want that inviting. It's all about the money. And let's sweep. So. People aren't lighting enough fires and they're not lighting enough candles. They keep using this so-called elect, what is it, ele electric? Electricity. <laughs> oh, couldn't be, fad. Couldn't be, couldn't it be infrared? Maybe, but they, they we, we, our business is candles, tarot. And, and and lighting stuff the the way it's meant to be on fire. That sounds that sounds pretty wicked to me. I just look, our company has been operating now for fifty years. We started in eighteen twenty nine, and I will be damned if if we reach nineteen hundred and are no longer in business. Ha. <laughs> Do you think people are just going to light candles for the rest of their lives? It's worked for centuries so far. It, it's, it, 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 it's everything. It, it involves lighting. It involves light. It involves heat. And it involves fire. the process of melting and planned obsolescence so that it's a business model. They have to come back and they have to buy them again once they're out. It's the perfect business. Perfect business. At least it used to be. Before. Before what? This light bulb is a fad. It's a passing fancy. It's a fad. This light bulb will try to destroy us all. I mean, what are we to do? Invest in kerosene too. Silly oils and fossil fuels. <laughs> you guys, you sound like an ad. Yeah. Ad? Yeah, you know, an ad, like you're advertising I never candles. That. I haven't. Huh? I do not realize you're using this newfangled slang now. Well, if you're going to make it an ad out of it, you need to come up with a jingle. <laughs> Let our lights light the way to the light. Light. I, I'm stuck on light. Go try. try, try, try. Let our lights be like a candle in the night. Don't use the word candle in the thing, though. No. The light. 
let it be something that we can handle. A candle in your hand will make you a bright man. A candle in your hand. I love it. I love it, Nelson. I got to think of other vice presidents have something they wish to add. Come in, other vice president. Come in. Help us come Grab in. a candle. Grab a cigar bulb with us. Go grab a light bulb. Help us this Maybe at the end of concerts, people will hold up a candle asking for another song. Oh, yes. And let it shine on. Screw you, Thomas Edison. Screw you. so much fun i haven't done musical improv in so long mark to come come on screen and take a bow mark our md thank you so much. wonderful Woo! we also underscoring uh the next uh uh thank you very much um what, what we got going on uh in, around here hey um we're looking for uh so we're looking for volunteers. We're looking for new jammers. We uh, we only have 13 people with us tonight. Uh, I know some people are going to be out. Some people are going to be at Improv Utopia next week and in a couple of weeks. Um, but if you know people, we'd love to see more jammers. We're uh, uh, we're sort of uh, concentrating mostly on the Sunday jams, not so much on our other things. We'll talk about that at the uh, uh, next transition. But if you want to volunteer, send one of us a uh, an email. If you want to be a timer, we'd love to have you be a timer. Uh, if you want to be uh, one of these hosts, come on in. Come on in. Be a host. We, we need your help. I think that's the only thing for this transition. I don't think I missed anything else. If we do it, we'll do it at the next transition. And so right now, we will be going to our team number three, which is hosted by Laura. Happy birthday a day, a day late, Laura. Thank you. Ooh. Are you, uh, what, what are Thank you, her. what are you, 23, 24? Oh, that's ridiculous. You know, I'm not even yeah, 20 been, yet. Been, I haven't even gotten to 20 yet. Come would it have been worse if I'd gone the other way? No, not at all. Okay. I'm so <laughs> proud to have made it to 100. <laughs> Very proud. And to show you my pride, I'm going to bring up my timekeeper, Brian, who's going to show you what he looks like and what his, little, what his watch or his phone looks like. And on this team, we have... Michael A. from San Bruno, California. Hey. Donovan S. from Brooklyn. Rudy J. from San Diego. And the illustrious Laura Z. Thank you, thank you. And we are team three. Oh, well, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, I'm going to camp soon, and I'm starting to think about all the things I used to do at camp. If you've ever been to camp or wanted to go to camp, what is something that you wanted to or enjoyed doing? Bug juice. Bug juice. I remember bug juice. Thank you. Bug juice. Thank you, bug juice. This is some good, this is some good uh, juice, uh, Jimmy. Thanks. I, I want to say, Sammy, this, this is the top of your tops. Tops. Mm. This, is, this is some good juice. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's, 
a little bit of mango, a little bit of fruit, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and you got the best juice in all of Michigan. You know, I've had some juice since I've been here. And Sammy, your juice? This this is the best juice. Wait, you say Sammy Davis? Oh wait, hey, who's I that? Sammy. Is that your? This is good juice, Sammy. Who's that, who's that man who just came in here? He says, "I see you. I see you're enjoying yourself, Sammy, and just yeah." Did you bring your dad to? Your dad just popped in here. Real this is quick. gonna be like. This is gonna be. This is. Is this a pop quiz? Look, is this your dad? With a beard? David Shapiro? Sammy, I was just wanted to say. I just wanted to tell you, Sammy. I, I just wanted to say one thing. This is some good juice. That's what I've been trying to say. Listen, you could bring your family members in here. You don't have to, they don't have to pop in and then leave. This is a family event. Jim? We didn't offer him any juice, Sammy. I just did, Jim. Look, you're drinking it right now. Oh my God. Where's my wife when I need her? Maybe she's in the distillery making Jimmy Walker red. Sweetie? Honey? Yes. Jim has been drinking my juice. Jim, are you, you drinking his juice? It's some good juice, Mrs. Sammy. Oh. Well, with a compliment, I can't be mad. I'm gonna get the mozzarella sticks from the freezer again. Oh. So, Jim, do you need a, a place to stay tonight? We got the sofa. It pulls out into a bed. I thought you never asked. Thanks. Oh. You take the sofa, and I, I'll take the bed. No, 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 Just, no. The, no. Yeah. Go ahead. Just a sofa for you tonight, Jim. There's there's the bathroom right in the wall. I mean, through the door in the wall. It's in the same room, is what I'm saying. Uh, so, we, so we can sleep in the same room? We or we can sleep, sleep on the sofa? Room, not even the same floor. Why? Right. Go away. It's lovely to have you here, and I'm glad you like the juice. Oh, uh, well, okay. You say it's lovely, but you don't want to sleep on the sofa with me. Nope. Nope. There's, there's uh, I'm, I'm thinking you're being a little, a little insincere, is all I'm thinking. No, I, I haven't camped. I had a sleepover since I was 13. See? This is, it's overdue. Oh. It's time for one. No. You haven't had one for a while. No. Sleep! <sighs> Hold on. I'm coming. All right, thanks. Honey, I'm honey. Here. I'm sorry, I got distracted with the with the, the car outside. Yeah, and you invited your brother over for dinner, didn't you? He just called. Uh. He said well, he'll Jeff, be here. Yeah, Jeff will be here in about 50 minutes, so. Oh, but honey, your brother, he's so hard to deal with. Look, he's an ex-Marine. You know, you know how Marines are, they get in their mindset. They wanna, you know. He goes up on the counters. He knows I can't go up that high. He says, look, there's dust here. I can't see the dust up there. I'm not six foot five. I know, it's just, look, honey, I, you know, I joined the Air Force, different branches, different strokes, as they say. And, uh, you know, this, sometimes the military sticks with you. It stuck with him. Yeah, but then he goes into all the bedrooms and throws coins on them to see if they bounce off. <sighs> That's what they did during the war he was involved in. It was just, he would go into a room and he'd throw a coin on the bed and that tell you won the battle. Look, I, I wasn't president at the time. I'm not even a politician. Uh, you know, that's okay, but he makes me do push-ups when they don't bounce. Honey, you know I don't like doing push-ups. I know, honey. Look, if he ever makes you do push-ups again, I'll, I'll insult the Marine Corps, and then he's gonna get angry. 
Oh my god, don't do that. Remember the last time he got angry? What's he gonna do? I'm in the Air Force. I could just fly a plane. But he has that knife hidden in his sock. No, don't mess with him, hon. Look, he's my brother. He's not gonna be here for 50 minutes. Look, I wanna get to the real juice of the business with you, my honey muffin. <laughs> is something else bothering you? Is something else bothering you? All right, but I'm sure he's not gonna like what I have planned for dinner. I was gonna make meatloaf. I have all the ingredients here, but he always wants steak, and I didn't. I didn't buy any. Well, you know what? Then he's gonna have to deal with that. Look, my brother Carl Jr. You know he may be a mess, but he's my mess. I know. I know you love him. He just kind of scares me. Yeah. Look. I hear a knock on the back door. Maybe it's a pizza guy. Hey, who is it? A pizza guy? You wish there was a pizza guy! Shit. It's your brother! Jeff oh. Carl Jr. Oh no. Hey Carl! Yeah. I can't expect your cabinet! Hey, Chair Force. You doing push ups? Hey, no, I. I look. Where's uh, the it's, pizza? Uh, Where's the pizza, Carl? It's clean give up. Give me 20. There. Drop, give me 20. I'm not going to do it, honey. You're going to have to do the 20 this time. I'm in 20 bucks for the pizza. I just got it from the pizza guy out front. <laughs> honey, he's a, yeah, he's a. He took it from the pizza guy out front. I got the hair. Here you go. I hope pizza's okay for you, Carl. Pepperoni, Carl. Dig in, like in the Marine Corps. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Carl Jr.'s pizza pie. That's singing very flat there, Chair Force. Sorry, I, look, I took one musical improv five years ago. No commitment, no motivation. Just like the Chair Force. You're you going to sing the song, you got you gotta sing with gusto. You gotta sing it and go for it. Are right, you sing it then, Jing, uh, Carl? When the moon hits your eye, like a bigger mortar in the sky, that's a pizza. That's a pizza. That's a pizza. That was lovely, Carl. Me and Chesty Puller, we sang that one back in the boots on perimeter. You know, with Dan oh. Daly, Snedley oh. Butler. You're such a manly man, Carl. I know. You're so different from your brother. I I'm gonna know. Leave, I'm going to leave you two alone. What? Oh, no, yeah. I no. I, oh, do you think I insulted him? Yeah, well, you know, he's used to it. He's a, you know, he's a wimpy little wimpy wimp. So when a, a real man comes in the door and he's not gonna jump out the window because he's afraid. Carl, I hate he's you. He's afraid man. of the reality. You're right, Carl. You're right. He's he doesn't know how to be a man like you do, Carl. I know. Sally, uh, you're always flattering me. A man after my own heart. You know, if you could dust those cabinets better, you and I could be an item. But you know. The push-ups and the, the, the way you make the bed? Mm. You're not really my type, I'll tell you the truth. I try so hard. You don't I, know how hard I try to please you, Carl. I do. I, hey, I, I take that into account. I don't hold it against you. You know? You're, you're my favorite sister-in-law, I'll tell you the truth. Out of you all ten of them, I'm the favorite? You are. I would even eat your meatloaf. Would you? Hey, yeah. watch it. That's my wife. Well, you didn't want to eat her meatloaf. Somebody's yeah. going to come along and do it. Hey, hold on a second. You're man. ordering pizza. Listen, the reason why I don't eat my honey bunny's meatloaf is, well, I'm not, I don't really want meatloaf anymore, to be honest, honey. I, I like pizza because pizza is, is cheesy. You're yeah, cheesy like you. 
I got it. I got it. I got my M1 rifle in the car. I'm going to go get it. You know, you never know who's going to, uh, you know, encroach on your perimeter. I'll be back. It's 2019. Nobody. He's bringing in a rifle, honey. But wait a minute. You don't like my meatloaf? Is that what you said? Look, honey, it's just. I love you. But after five kids, one cat, and that chimpanzee named Eric, you know, I just think maybe it's time I move on. But what, what are you saying? I talked to the pizza guy earlier, and he said he's going to take me in as an understudy. I'm trying Tango. to go. Tango, Lara. So look, not everyone's cut out for the pizza delivery lifestyle. Yeah. But you've got a twinkle in your eye. The sort of twinkle that somebody that just gave up their marriage, five kids, dog named something, and another pet would have in their eyes. I'm an Air Force vet as well, so. Yeah. That's a hunt. You ever worked three extra hours and gotten an average of a 3% tip? I was involved in the, the first war 10 years ago, so yes, I know what you're talking about. The first war? The first war. Oh, all right. I did the airstrike on uh, Pelagito. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. Well, I could do this, and I'll do whatever you want. I could flip this pie. All right. I could chop cheese faster than Speedy Francis. Pop quiz. Name your three favorite cheeses. Blue, American, French. That's three cheeses. You know what? You've got what it takes. Hey, thank you, Chef Boyardee. Anytime. All right, let's get my Ford Focus and drive to the store. All right. Ah, you know, San Francisco's changed a lot. Yeah, it's a little taller now. Wait, the buildings or the city? Well, both. The buildings oh, are yeah. the city. Yeah. Uh, I forget, after the war, they built up buildings twice their size to prevent any more attacks. That's exactly what they did. They knocked them all down and rebuilt them exactly twice their old size. Uh, I should know. What's this location? This is Alamo Square. It's a uh, park. People bring their dogs here. People drink in public here. And people eat pizza here. This is where I gotta deliver the pie? Yeah. This is it. Alright. Well, that man. I guess I'll deliver it to that man over there. Come on. Good luck. You leaving me? Oh fuck! Everybody leaves me. I'll I'll stay in the focus. Oh okay. Hello. Pizza! Pizza! Hello, are you? Uh, Is that my pizza? Jeffrey Jeffrey Wright. Y yes. Okay. Yes, this is a pizza for you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave because you paid with credit card. So. Oh, thank. But wait. Start the car! Vroom, 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 vroom. I ordered a non-vegetarian! This one's vegetarian! It's Cut got- to the Cut to the car! That's one delivery down. Alright. Ooh, pretty easy life. You look really pleased with yourself. What can I say? When you've got biceps like me, it's easy to be pleased with yourself. You know, I wasn't going to comment on them, but since you brought them up, You've got biceps. Thanks, Chef Boyardee. And you've got a, a charming soul. Oh, thank you. I apparently get it from my grandparents. So that's it? No more pizzas? We're done for today? You know, we just... We, sometimes we wander and we hope. Just listening for that call for pizza. Stop! 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 We did it! This is like a pizza delivery, like an ice cream delivery, like pizza delivery, focus. I saw the Chef Boyardee sign on the top. Yes, Chef, Chef Boyardee, Boyardee pizza. San Francisco pizza delivery. San Francisco treat. Hey, uh, do you have a pizza in there for Jimmy? I wanted a, a 
a rice roni jalapeno pineapple vegetarian with meat pizza yeah the number two we got it in here yeah yeah pick it through the window Hey, 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 uh, this one, uh, I, do you have one with anchovies, the number two with anchovies? You know, we're down here on the grotto, Pier 39, you're gonna have to have some anchovies. Pier 39, classic location of San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. Tourist Central. Yeah, we should have another one, right, Chef? Oh, yeah, oh. The Gordon's Fisherman's gonna be really disappointed you didn't put the anchovies on the number two pizza. Mr. Gordon. <laughs> At least you're yeah. not from Petaluma. No. What's Petaluma Definitely, about? or Besides Palo Alto. Chili competition. It's well, been a... Oh, sorry, you go. I went What's to Mor Morro Bay that, you know, it's been a week there one night. A week there one night? Yeah. That was a hell of a night. Hey, yeah. You should taste their bug juice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Boys. Gentlemen, I got a fun fact for you. While I was in, stationed in Petaluma during the Great War, I found out that George Lucas filmed movies there back in the day. American Graffiti. I so did not know. Is the Great War you... the same as the First War? My history's not great. The this famous Petaluma War? No, is that not the, the Drone Petaluma. War? The Overseas War. Oh. Overseas War. That Great yeah. War. Yeah, because we've... Yeah, right, haven't here, bought we one here since here, here, well. So. Hey, enjoy, enjoy your pizza, Johnny. You want Thank to get you. This car. You have any bug juice to go with it? Oh, hold on. Yeah. Catch. Just put it on the top. Oh shit. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks, man. Drive safe. The hills are big. Yep. I got an automatic transmission. Here we go. Uh, you know. Sometimes I wonder, is there life out there in the stars? Or is it just, are we just a tiny little dust? You know, you asking that question makes this moon roof work that it was a $1,200 option on this focus. <laughs> it's worth it. You know, the sky's really cleared up after the, all that, after the war. Beautiful. You can see tens of stars now. Yes. You know, I, sh I should have had a partner in pizza delivery a long time ago. This waxing. I, I couldn't help but overhearing. Oh, okay, stop. <laughs> that, I do, I, you know, I just overheard that you probably, probably wanted a partner since you guys just parked here so long after, you know, and I get the, you know, I drink the bug juice, I said, I'm Jimmy, and then. I get disinhibited. And so I wanted to come over and invite myself to your car for a philosophical conversation on the existential existence of pizza delivery and warfare. What, excuse, what is... me, excuse me, excuse I was just passing by and I heard that there was gonna be a discussion on the existential uh, you, warfare. You know... This is something, the, something that I'm so interested in. Three door focus. Yeah, it's part of the back. number two tonight with anchovies. I'll, I'll just shove the pizzas to the, the little trunk and just. Oh, I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna get yeah, in hey, the car and. Hey, oh, look. Oh, Jeff oh, sorry. He welcomes uh, everybody. He welcomed me, an old vet. Uh, you know? Oh, I think I'm sitting on a pizza, but that's okay. It's nice and warm. Keep you warm. All right, let's hey. just let's just go. I'm gonna turn off the GPS. Let's just see where we end up. Look up at the stars. Three people, three friends. You guys, you guys are really super nice. And I just wanted to say, I haven't felt so welcome in such a small car since like adolescence. That's beautiful. I thought, I knew, I thought you would think so. You're, you're such a kind person. He really is a kind person, don't you think? Yes, he is. You know? Maybe all it took was one more for us to come together and realize why do violence against another human or an animal? Yes. There's really no reason. When guess what? We can discuss our issues and eat pizza. And see. Woohoo! Give it up, give it up for D3.
I, I spam bombed a lot of people today about the uh, about this, and uh, Ruddy was one of them. And Ruddy, I think, was the only one who responded. Thank you, Ruddy. Thank you very much for showing up. I appreciate it. Um, I forgot to do something before. I forgot to share my screen uh, for something. What's on the menu here at Inter Inter City Improv? Hey, our short form jam, unfortunately, is on hiatus until for Jonas Santa, as well as our open mic. Uh, Toast and Jam, which is our Sunday improv brunch, uh, will return probably in October where we're taking a break for September uh, just because there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you're at the Improv Jam. Tell people about us. Uh, we are Betsy. Buy our stuff. Uh, and of course, we want your submissions for improv teams, video sketches, musical directors, or jammers. And we have a community page online, Inner City Improv uh, Community, uh, which is also linked to Inner City Improv. And that's it. So, about to share. And at this point, before we go on to our headliners, hey, do any of you have anything to plug? Do any of you have any shows you want you doing on Zoom? or elsewhere, or classes, or things. I do. Donovan. Hey, uh, great jam as usual. I'm going to put this in the chat. Uh, if you want to be a backup for a potential uh, stage reading on September 4th, uh, 2021 at 9 p.m. EDT, we're reading the Godzilla 1994 script. Uh, so for the canceled Godzilla film, I found it online, the canceled mm. American Godzilla film. So if you want to Maybe be a backup or watch. Uh, it's going to be really fun. And then let me get the Honey Bunny Improv link. If you want to do jams every Thursday, which David is there a I'm lot. Usually there. Other people are there a lot. Uh, come jam. Uh, just message the page for the Zoom link. Uh, check the Facebook event every Thursday at 9.45 p.m. EDT. Mm -hmm. And so thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anybody else? Pop on screen. Tell us what you're doing. Tell us who you are. What do you know? Brian. Yeah, so uh, for anyone who's going to the camp next week, but who's driving, so the night before, uh, this coming Thursday, in State College, Pennsylvania, Happy Valley Improv is doing the Extra Small Improv Festival. It's a one night only thing that I signed up since I'll be driving through. So I figured like, hey, I will stop there for the night, do some improv, and then go to camp in the morning, where I'll run into David and Michael and a bunch of other people. Um, and then I'll come coming back. Uh, my local theater is still doing outdoor shows because we got rained out twice. So, you know, if you're in the Chicago suburbs, let me know. I've been to those shows. They're a lot of fun. Anybody else, anything to promote? You're going once, going twice, going down Sloven. Look at that in the background. Look at that. That's amazing. And I'm I know. Up, and this is how I, I got. Talk. I know I got. I got so good at this that I don't even know what to do. I'm so freaking good. <laughs> they, they were, yeah. So yeah, but now I cut. It cuts off the numbers, which makes it difficult. But you know what? The actual vintage improv festival is in about a week or so. Mm. And if you actually have not already registered for a billion and one different classes then I don't know what to tell you because there are a billion and one different classes with all of the greats except for the ones that are going to the improv retreat, which is the skipping for the... Yeah. Uh, but there are lots and lots of things, including also the jam, which is every Tuesday. And uh, come join us. We do lots of interesting stuff. Vintage Improv, uh, the people there, very good friends to us, and we we to them, we appreciate them, and they appreciate us. So. And as connected as I am to them, I am connected to them. But I also okay. All right. Thank you. That's Thank my time, Mike. Uh, if there's nothing else, my friends uh, Michael Workowski and Alicia Vino have. A lot more better improv and self-expression, which has their blue humor jams on Monday nights and Saturday mornings. So go go there if you want to get a little blue, because we sometimes go there. Uh, if as as long as there's nothing else um, we've to talked about what's on the menu, uh, it's time for our headliners. Give it up for our headliners all the way from Chicago, Illinois. Two people who I've improvised with in person. One person was my first teacher at I.O. Uh, it is We Robot. Come on up to the stage. Woo! Woo! Uh, hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey, everyone. Woo! It's been a little while.
while since I've seen some of y'all. Some mm -hmm. are new people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> everyone is the same to me. Congratulations. <laughs> you did it. You saved the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, should we give a suggestion to get started? Sure. Well, we yeah. Shout something out. Uh, if you, you want to type it up in the chat, I'll, I'll grab it out of the chat. Something was a, a word or a phrase. I got a lot of glare on my feet. Yeah, you got a big forehead, Bill. It has been growing. Uh, dreaming sheep. Dreaming sheep. Dream, dreaming sheep sounds great. Thank you very much. I have not been sleeping well. No, me neither. Uh, and I don't know what it is. Uh, uh, waking, I'll, I'll sleep super hard for an hour and wake uh -huh. up totally anxious about something yeah uh, uh i very routinely wake up in the middle of the night um i alternate between either i go to sleep almost instantaneously as soon as my head hits the pillow or i lay uh -huh. awake for an hour and a half and it's night to night but immediately back and forth flip a coin you know which one's gonna be yeah 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 no, it has happened Sir, we all have anxieties. We all have things we worry about. We've all had restless nights of sleep. Uh, I've gotten to the point where I can now say to myself, even if I wake up keyed up about some random thing, oh, I'm doing that thing again. Mm -hmm. And that's been nice. I'm still keyed up, but sure. <laughs> uh, have you found any strategies that, yeah. that work really well, but you're like, this is a break class in case of emergency. This is going to get me to bed. Yes, but I don't do them because it's that whole like, <laughs> oh, I really need to pee. But if I just go to sleep, I bet I can make it. Or my throat's dry. Uh -huh. I should get up and get some water. Get up and do some chores. Do, do the dishes, you know, get in and do the dishes. Uh, walk around, read a book somewhere other than your bed. All that kind of stuff mm -hmm. have been my, uh, my emergency things. Yeah. Great. Okay. I was going over your blood work. Uh -huh. and, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, everything uh, mostly seems normal. Uh, mostly seems normal? Well, within there's a range. Okay. There's a range, an acceptable range. Okay. Um, and everything is... Um, I'm going to ask you a question. I don't want you to be insulted by it right away. Is that okay. cool? I'm very worried. Go ahead and ask it. Is this your blood? Was this your blood? Well, you took my blood. You, that, you took my blood. Well, right? I, 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 someone at the office took your blood. I just... Yeah. I don't know if that's my blood. Is that my, what is wrong with my blood? Nothing is wrong with your blood. Look, it's, everything is in the range, but it's just, it's exactly in the middle of okay, iron. Is that bad? Is that bad? It's, it's not bad, is it, sir? It's not bad. It's just weird. Okay. It's strange. It's weird. It makes me feel like this is some uh, pre-mixed uh, test blood. You use to calibrate. I this. have test blood? I'm not saying you have tests, but I'm just saying your blood came back like, oh, this is the sample you train nurses on. This is like oh, oh amazing. My God. Okay, just lay it out for me straight. Am I dying or am I not? You're dying? fine. You're fine. Okay, it's you, just, you're throwing a lot of curveballs at me. Right. You're like you're normal, but you're within range. But then you're telling me that I'm like Donald, a weird training. Donald, yes, you are healthy. Thank you. But that's just it. You shouldn't be so healthy. Okay, and that's what's making it strange. Okay, am I? What do I need to do then? I don't know. I don't know. Am I too fat? Am I too skinny? No. You are, for your height and weight, you are exactly average. Okay. Your BMI. So I'm drinking too much or I'm not drinking enough. I have a glass of red wine. Should I have more red wine or no, less red wine? I don't know. Whatever it is you're doing, I guess keep doing it. Okay. You get home. Can I get a second opinion? Yes, you can. I'm getting a lot of mostlies. Okay. A lot of Here's the thing. You need to relax and calm down. Okay. You are. I'm too tense. You... Yes. Yes. There we go. Okay. Yes. All You're right. Too tense. You're too tense. Ah. Oh, You're too okay. tense. But that's it. Oh, I feel so much better now. Otherwise, okay. Thank you. you are a dictionary's definition of health. It's uh, it's it's weird. It's strange. Okay. It's strange. That's it. That's it. Because it was like a lot of blood in my urine, so I was like really worried. But now you're telling me I'm fine, so I guess I'm fine. Doc, this, thank you. you should be. You've taken a lot of concern. Yeah. 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 yeah, what's up? We didn't, we, I didn't, we need to test your urine. What's wrong with my urine? There's blood in your urine. Well, yeah, there's like a lot of blood in my urine. Okay, then it shouldn't, it, blood should not be in your urine. Well, I'm, how else does the blood get out of your body? It doesn't get out of your body. It's, it's it's catalyzed by your body. There should not be blood in your body in your urine. I'm gonna start with there should not be blood in your urine. Okay. 
All right, well, I guess take a urine sample then. Yeah, we're just gonna, all right. A lot of blood? Yeah. Would you say your urine looks like? Let me pee lemonade? and you, you tell me. Pink I'm, lemonade. I'm gonna fill this guy up and then you tell, just hang on. That's not hang a on one urine second. thing. Oh, okay. Well, well, give me a urine okay. thing. I'll have, I'll have the nurse. I'll have the nurse yeah. okay. prepare a sample for you. Great, me. okay, thank you. Sure, all right. I just, I'll let you do it. You're the expert. Sure, that's fine. That's okay, fine. thank you. Yeah, yeah. So the guy pee went and peed, all right? He literally peed, and when he came back, no joke, no joke, he, it was like strawberry jam. Literally, a cup of strawberry jam. <laughs> it was viscous. It had, it's got little things. There's little things. Okay, so is that a good thing or is that there a bad thing? There should be little things. There's so little I, things. I need more things or I need fewer There should things. be zero things. There should be zero things. Look, 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 look in your... Urine. Could I give a second urine sample and we see if it's the same as the first yeah, urine sample? Or do you normally have little bits, little grains? Well, I don't know. I don't look at it that closely. See, I, just as you're peeing, do you feel little grains? Oh, I never look at myself while I'm peeing. How did you know there was blood in your urine? Well, I saw it in the bowl. Well, were there chunks in the bowl? Well, I don't, there could have been in the bowl at any time. Really? Someone's I, I, putting I, I, little, little, little seeds. So is this too many or is it too few? Too many. Okay. It should be zero. Thank you. It should be zero little chunks. Got it. In your beet red jam consistency urine. Uh -huh. Do you have to push to get this out? This, this is no, not... it comes out super easy. Maybe too easy. Is it too easy? Is it too easy for me to pee? There is no, that is not a factor that medical science cares about. Really? The, 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 the simplicity of urine exiting the body. This is weird. This, this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go give another urine sample. Oh, hey, what's up? Huh? You looking? You gonna buy? Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm just gonna shop him. Right? I'm browsing. Well, let me know if you need anything. Sure. My name's uh, Joel. Sure. Um, you know, it's just like, why is that TV $500 and that TV $5,000? Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, do you want me to tell you or are you just... Well, I mean, just, 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 just real quick. I mean, I can look at the, the little data sheets and things, but it's just like, you know, they're both 42 inches, they're both yeah. uh, LED, mm -hmm. uh, but just you know, one's five, that one's 10 times the price the other one, I just, yeah. How much, how much of a lemon is the $500? Well, it's not so much that it's a lemon, it's oh. that. I mean, this is a fine TV. Perfect, it's a fine TV. You made a sale. You, well, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's just, I was gonna tell you what the difference was, but all right. Uh, sure, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, so this is an LG and that's a Sony. Okay. That's it. That's you good. know what LG stands for? Life's good. There you go. We made a sale. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That was the easiest sale I made. Oh, no, me too. I thought I was gonna be like oh, stretching out buying electronics. It was easy. This was great. Thanks. Oh, great. Uh, well, let me get a, a slip fill out, and we'll get you set up. So you uh, getting a uh, replacing your old TV, or what's the deal? Oh, we need a new television. So you, yeah. You getting a new one? Well, we have a we turn the garage into like a mother-in-law suite. We're gonna Airbnb oh, nice. it and, and uh, oh, yeah, over the garage. Cool. the garage with a little yeah, yeah, yeah. room over the garage. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, cool. yeah, we're excited about it. It's uh, you know, we've we stayed at Airbnbs before, you sure. know, so we kind of like, oh, well, we could we could do this. Oh you know, yeah, 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 yeah. We got that room. Yeah. We're not yeah, doing anything with it. It's uh, it's not insulated, so it may be only three seasons, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, who's, all right. Who's traveling to Chicago in the dead of winter? You know? Yeah, not many people. Yeah. Uh, so I got to try and upsell you on a couple of things. You can feel free to say no to any of these. I'm sure. going to tell you right now. Uh, extended warranty. No, easy. Uh, 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 stand to hold it on the wall, wall mount. Already got it. Great, already cool. Got it. That's quick. Um, installation. No, I'll do it myself. Great, wonderful. Like I said, I just gotta, I gotta try and, I gotta That's try right. and upsell you. That's right. You did your job. You did yeah. Your job. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, take that one up to the front. Oh, oh there, sure, right sure. there. Um, will it be this one or like another? It's gonna be one new in the box. Cool, new cool. in the box, cool. out cool. back. We're gonna do discounts for four models, do you? Uh, yeah, we do actually. I mean, do you want this one? 
How long has that been? I mean, it's like on 12 hours a day. Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't even turn them off at night either. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just take it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and if you get um, if you get an email about um, doing a uh, survey, I'd appreciate getting like five stars. Can I ask you, have you stayed in an Airbnb? Yeah, I've stayed in an Airbnb. Every Airbnb is far. Do you trust the giant thing of shampoo? Oh, 100% not. 100% no? 100% not. Always bring you, know, you, know, shampoo. you go in the shower and yeah. there's like, someone just, hey, the giant pump random shampoo or body wash. I know. I know. Yeah, I do. You don't they, trust it? I do not trust it. Um, that's what my wife said. Yeah. That's what she said. But I'm like, oh, it's great. You got the pump. But I mean, like, I always bring my own shampoo. Well, why don't you trust the pump? Well, I don't know what their vibe is for shampoo. I mean, am I going to get an allergic reaction? My hair going to fall I mean, it out? Says, it says head and shoulders or, you know. Oh, I do not like head and shoulders. But it, says, but it says Very what harsh. It says what it is. You know, it's, you yeah. know, Vidal Sassoon or whatever. We'll find some tepid middle of the road shampoo. Is well, that do why you, you don't trust them? If you go over to somebody else's house, do you use their shampoo? I don't wash my hair at their house. Well, if you stay at their house, do you use their shampoo? You go to your you know, your parents' house or whatever, you use their shampoo? What? No, but, it, but I don't. Maybe sometimes I do. Maybe sometimes I do. Honestly, maybe sometimes I go use my mom's shampoo. Maybe sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Well, but I, why? I, is that the only reason? I mean, uh, honestly, I don't trust the largesse of it. What? The largesse. I mean, that like somebody would buy that much shampoo. Yeah, I would buy that. I buy that for myself. How much shampoo? You don't have, I mean, forgive me for saying you don't have that much hair. I don't need, oh, I, I, it takes me years to get done. Okay. Well, yeah. maybe I'm buying wrong. <laughs> That's fine. It yeah. just feels like you, well, what do you take when you travel? You bring like that whole jug with you? No, I have a little travel thing. If I know they don't have the shampoo, it's just, are you worried someone peed it? Well, now I am. Oh, so you weren't, you weren't before. Now you weren't before. before. I was not All before. right, that was, my, that was my wife's thing. She's like, someone pissed in there, or worse. Oh, you think they like in there? Dude, dude, or, why okay, I don't know. Sorry. Right. Worse could be anything. Okay. And that's right. probably worse, but like. Yeah. Also, I worry it's going to go bad, and I don't. It doesn't go know, bad. I mean, I, it I doesn't know, go but, bad. My friend's a food scientist. So it doesn't go bad. I know objectively it won't go bad, but subjectively, there's a part of the back of my brain that's like, you can't leave something like that out for years at a time and it not go bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. We did a big argument about shampoo. I was like, let's, let's just, let's just do, do the big jug. You know, we got to do the travel yeah. size. Yeah. Thank you. Was Thanks. Just like a get out of the house thing. I mean, I guess you still need. No, we still need. We need to see the thing. It's just been weighing on me. It's been going. Yeah, yeah. We've been really at each other's throats about how we want to. You know, we go to Airbnb. Oh, we can do this. But then when it's your time to make an Airbnb, it's like, yeah. Well, we really should do white sheets. White sheets. This isn't a hotel. Yeah, I don't want white sheets in an Airbnb. Thank you. It's a, it, it, it's it shows too much. And, and like, if I lay. And I know I shouldn't lay down on the bed with my shoes on, but sometimes it happens, and then I get scuff marks on the on the comforter, and then I feel bad about it. Well, you know what her reasoning is: if it's white, you know it's clean because you can bleach it. <laughs> you can bleach sure. white sheets, and yeah. you can't bleach other mm -hmm. sheets. Yeah. All right, yeah, all right. I, I mean, I'll give you that. Give her that. All right. Well, great. Um, well, if you need anything else, we're here. I'm here till nine, or if you want to swap. If you did, if you forgot your shampoo. You forgot your shampoo. I'm just not shampoo. Was, I'm just not shampoo. Put you there for a week, all right? And you're in like Arizona and it's hot and just real sweaty, all right? Uh -huh. Would you use the pump shampoo? Honestly, I'd go buy my own shampoo. <laughs> but you, you can't. Or there's, something, there's something going Why on. Why can't I go buy my own shampoo? The, the store's store closed. The store's closed. The store's closed. For a week? You're the store is closed, closed in, the in Arizona, Arizona for a week? Yes. You're in the Sonoran Desert. Why am I staying in the Airbnb in the, the Sonoran Desert? Because they're going to open a Best Buy there. So they sent you out to scout it out, okay? For a week, we want you to find oh, a spot okay. in the all middle right. of Arizona. All right. For for all right, and we found this one Airbnb for you. Would you use the pump shampoo? <sighs> you really got me up against the wall here. Um, <laughs> really, it happens. Well, I mean, I've never been sent to go open a Best Buy in the Sonoran Desert. You know, so I mean, I, I I mean, I guess in that situation, maybe I'll do a pump or two here. All right. Okay. I forget which one. You are pro jug of shampoo. I'm pro jug of shampoo. Okay, all right. Well, I hope I can help you again. That was very nice. That was Joel. If you get an Thank email you about, yeah, appreciate yeah. getting five stars. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
You got something? You got something else? Yeah, there's someone special in your life that you were doing about him. Um, I mean, I got I got a fiance. Okay. Do the two of you travel together? Sure. Do you wait? What fiance? Fiance? Because they're both fiance. What fiance? Fiance pair would not travel together. Well, at some you, point. You, you, he's on business. You're on business. He's on business. They're on business, and you're not. You know. Do you? We do vacation together. Yeah. Yeah, we've gone on vacation okay. together. Two Airbnbs. Yeah, we've gone there. Do you? Um, what's that? Like? And that's oh, I mean that's really personal. I think. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna have to expect people are gonna have sex in your bed, right? I mean, does the hotel go? Oh, by the way, sir, you can't have sex in our hotel beds. What? It's a hotel. You know, you're staying there. Especially if I was stuck in the Sonoran Desert for a week with my fiance, yeah. we're gonna have sex at some point. I'm just gonna tell you. Thank you. All right. Because my wife is like, this is like, no, it's an Airbnb. It's not a hotel. This is someone's home, okay? Uh -huh. And someone might be sleeping here, but we're not here. And that's gross. Okay. I tell Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. I tell you how you do it. Add something to the room that gives it a vaguely childlike feel. Ew, do, ew, no, no ew, here's the thing. To do what? To not have sex. Oh, it's a preventative. Oh, oh, okay. We, my fiance and I, we traveled to Juno. We stayed okay. in this really nice Airbnb. I mean, not like super nice, but like pretty nice. You know, house up on a hill. Sure. And you know, we've got like the whole basement to ourselves. Uh, but it had like like a painting of like a child as like a clown, you know, like putting the makeup on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. And it, That's good. it iced it out for the whole week. We even taking the painting off the wall, turning it around and putting it away because we knew That's this good. child clown was there and that was it. That's good. You don't want him to have sex, but I put up something that, that'll ice it. I, I'm okay with it. It's just more that when I go to Airbnb, my wife doesn't want to. It's oh just man, like, that's a bummer. Yeah, I mean, this, this Airbnb is, sex. I gotta be honest, it's great sex. Oh, no, don't rub it in. Okay. Well, I'll just say, you know, hey, give it a shot. I mean, okay. You can. All right. Well, Eddie, anyway, my name, my name was Joel. If you Thanks, yeah, okay, okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I think we're out of time. Okay. <sighs> Waiting in line for the bathroom. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Great game, right? Awesome. Are super good. Super good game. Are you kidding? Yeah. It's fantastic. Oh, fucking great. I'm just happy that that Nelson is finally playing like he. Thank pardon, you. Pardon my friend. Thank you. Play like a man. Thank you. You know, and I understand, but you know what I mean. I uh, yeah. And with some courage. Mm -hmm. With some drive. Yeah. Being like a look, looking like a leader. Yeah. Yeah, not being so wimpy. Uh, um, just like, how often can you look at the coach from the field? You know, it's like, you're under center, bro. Yeah. Keep her, keep her. <laughs> and then he's checking in on, hey, am I doing this right? Is this okay? Like, come, come on. Ugh. And it's $20 million a year, and he's got to, like, have his nose wiped. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Well, God. it's nice. I don't know. I don't know what happened to get this guy's button here but uh, that's been nice that's been nice uh i already got divorced huh yeah we got divorced that model he was married to whoa, 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 whoa. yeah yeah the model was married yeah well, a she's available but B, yeah, yeah, yeah okay pal yeah no right. no, no i mean yeah, you got that okay sure <laughs> but that's like She was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, she drop dead gorgeous. 11 out of 10. Easily 11. 11 out of 10. And a burgeoning pop music career. Mm hmm. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah. Why do you think they went? Why? What happened? I don't know. I, I mean, I just saw that like they are getting divorced. And now he's like found his groove. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I mean, honestly, I hate to say I hope he's single forever, but I mean, I kind of hope he's single forever. I mean, if this is what we get. At least the next 10 seasons, you know. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You seen that movie that she did? <laughs> you seen that movie that she did? <laughs> uh, body double. I'm going to say it right now. Yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah, no, like, I it's fun to pretend. Of, it's fun to pretend. A friend in Hollywood was a body double. Yeah, I know. I know. But I, like, it's fun to pretend. You're like, mm, but what if? Man, women are hot. Does that make me wrong? Does that make me? That's not wrong. Women are hot. 
Probably all of them. I mean, I haven't met every woman, but I'm going to say every woman is hot. More so than not. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make an inference. It's not like a like a direct observation because I have not met 100% of women. But I mean, of the women I've met, they've all been hot. So my guess is all women are hot. I don't talk about it around the office. I get mm -hmm. that's inappropriate. All right, sure. I get that, but it yeah. doesn't, I can't turn it off inside. Hey, you're at the stadium. All right, you're waiting in line for a men's restroom. You can't say women are hot here. Work. You say women are hot. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Men are hot too. Some men are hot. Some men are hot. Some men are hot. Some men are hot. It's not like I want to like marry them or anything. But it's like, oh, no. that's a beautiful man. That's a beautiful man. Oh, yeah. I mean, are there men that I meet sometimes and I'm like, I would like to kiss that man? Yeah. I, sh I shook hands with Hugh Jackman. Whoa. Shorter than you think, but he's still like pretty tall. I'm but, like, he's shorter than you think, but like he's still pretty tall. Yeah. But, but he's yeah, he's a beautiful man. Oh, yeah. He is a kissable <laughs> man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying again. I'm not saying we would like have sex, but I'd I'd, I'd wrestle the pool with him, we'll oh, grab ass. Oh, hundred yeah, percent, hundred percent. I mean, if he wanted to, I'd be into that. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't force myself on him, but if okay. he was like, you know, he's like, hey, what about it? I'd be like, yeah, okay. It would take a while to not call him Mr. Jackman. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I'd want to call him Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, whew. If every woman in the world gained ten pounds. Mm -hmm. And quit wearing makeup. I women would still be hot. Oh, 100 percent Could you imagine that if they did like they got together and all just like universally? Universally. Man, that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, man. They moved to single occupancy. Yeah, I was just thinking, what is this yeah, guy like, doing in there? Dropping bombs. That's what he's yeah. doing. Jeez. <laughs> Glad you're up next. If you want to piss in the sink. I use the commode or vice versa. Oh my god, would that be okay? Totally, totally, totally. Oh my god, I would really I'm, I'm a little it. taller. I, I might reach the, the sink a little better. Um, okay, yeah, uh, we'll figure it out when we get out there. We'll yeah. sort it out. Uh, I stood next to um, Anderson Cooper one time. Oh yeah, Mazer. Yeah, like a, a urinal taller than you think. Really? Yeah, he he's a giant. He looks like a he looks like a bit of a dweeb. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I thought the same thing standing next to him, though. I was like, this guy could take me. Okay. Yeah. yeah fair enough. Broad shoulders, big arms. I don't disagree mm -hmm. with his politics or with how he runs his business. Oh, yeah. But he looks like a bit of a pencil there. Mm -hmm. You know, I think he, he, he does that look for a reason, you know, like, so you, you unassume. I think it's like a put on. Well, like, like a Anderson lit. Cooper is like actually this like super macho, like, I'm not going to say he's super macho, and I'm not going to say it's a complete put on, but I think like he's leaned into it, you know? He it turns it up. He bit. was already like, mm, I'm 60% a, a dork looking anyway. I'm going to go 100%. Yeah. And just you really, really lean into that thing. Fair enough. I'm Jerry, by the way. It's nice to meet you. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm ben. Ben, nice to meet you. Yeah. you season tickets or uh, get yeah. guests here? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, season tickets. Yeah. How about you? I got a buddy at work who bought season tickets for his like, oh. whole family. Oh, they yeah. hate football. He thought of like bringing them together. So he's like, he's got like four tickets to every game, and like no one else wants to go. And he's like, fan don't want to go. And, oh god. So it's like we get me and a couple other guys kind of rotate through, and you know, so we're here. We're here most of most games. Yeah. Where are your seats? Uh, uh, F one. You don't have a private bathroom? F <laughs> next? Are you well, kidding me? There is. And, you know, that you're slumming it up here, and you could be down in the F section. No, okay. Well, it's also a privatey up there, but it's. It, I mean, the season tickets are really my grandfather's, and he has been in the bathroom for the last two quarters. So, like, I got to the point where I was like, I just got to go somewhere to go. Was that hyperbole? That has he's been in there. Father been in the bathroom for two quarters. Well, he's been in there for longer than two quarters, but two times. How old is the man? Uh, one hundred and four. Dude, he's not dead. He's, he's dead. Not, no, he's dead. He's been texting from in he's there. Dead. He is a hundred percent alive. He has been texting. <laughs> he has been texting. <laughs> Self wellness check. Yeah, yeah. Damn. F, F second F. Plus, plus, he's watching the game on his iPad in the bathroom. You, know, you got Wi Fi in the section F. Yeah, yeah. Man, man. If you want to come up, by the way, I mean, there's like a crab bar, and if you want anything, they'll run out and get it. Well, I know you got like your own food services area. Yeah. 
Someone told me there's a carving station up there. Is that true? There is a car. It was two carving oh, stations. Oh, you're kidding carving me. You're kidding yeah. me. I'm not. It's just two carving stations. Wait, wait, roast beef, lamb. Uh, oh, there's, a, there's a roast beef, and then there's a whole stuck pig. Uh, yeah. One of those with like that apple on its mouth and everything. I got to pee. Really? <laughs> what is this guy I doing? Okay, you know what? I'm going to propose. You want to pee on the wall? I'll watch. And then I'll pee on the wall and you can watch. Unless you gotta unless you gotta deuce it or something. I mean just piss. Just piss. Great. You want to pee on the wall. I'm gonna watch. Dude, yeah. you probably notice baggy shorts. Mm -hmm. I've got even baggier underpants on underneath. Little trick I learned playing soccer. Ah, nice, 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 nice. D D2, yeah. D2. Mm -hmm. But in most games, at some point in a soccer game, one player is taking a piss on the field. I did not know that. Yeah, they I kneel down. Know that. You know, the ball's out. Oh, around, that's the defender, kneeling. Just take thing. a knee or squat or do something. All right. The ball's at the other end. And yeah. Out, so it's like they're pissing. Yeah, yeah. Chances are they're pissing. Yeah. So, I played water polo in college. Pretty much all we do is pee. They don't have that red dye. Is that a thing? That's not a thing. Oh, that's no, that's a totally a trick. They do that to try and work. But I mean, everyone's pissing. Everyone's pissing in that pool. You swim 10 miles in a game. Every, and you're like water and you're moving. Like you piss all the time. Yeah. Cool. Watch, okay. Watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Well, that's gonna say it's well, whose pants. You don't have those different pants you can pull. No, no, I understood. I understood it. Yeah, yeah. No, I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You may have to you may have to stork it when it's your turn. It's a, the, the water runs runs towards the end zone. <laughs> gotcha. It's gonna one foot this thing. Okay, you do okay. Right? Yeah, go, okay, go, go, great. Go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah. We don't even have brats in our section. It's just hot dogs. Really? <laughs> That's awful. It's miserable. And like potato chips. It's hot dogs mm -hmm. and potato chips. Yeah. Man. <laughs> I mean, they're free takes. I shouldn't be so upset about it. Yep, that's got on my shoe. It's got on my shoe. <laughs> Not the bottom. Yeah, it's like side, but wash over the top. I had a buddy one time. This floor is sloped, and I yeah, did it not is, yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> you know why they do that, right? To keep you from pissing on it? They can clean it with a fire hose. Uh, that's fine. Good call. Yeah. Okay. It was nice meeting you, man. Yeah, hey, you too, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. we're piss buddies yeah. now. <laughs> right. I touched me, you touched you, yeah. and now we touched hands. You want to come up to F1 or anything? I'm going gonna, 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 gonna to wait here. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wash my hands now. We just play. Oh, sure. We actually have a sink that's up there. It's a... I'll come with you. Yeah. Okay. And that's it for the show. Yay! 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 Absolutely. So nice seeing everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Bill. Hey, do you guys have anything you would like to promote? <laughs> if you're ever in Chicago, swing by the old Bug House Theater, home of the Chicago Improv Studio, 1910 Irving Park. Uh, might get some, some fun online things going here or there. We'll see. Uh, information at chicagoimprovstudio.com and Facebook. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, thank you. Thank Thanks you, everybody. Well. Good fun. Boy, this has been a lot of fun tonight. We just we know it takes a lot of people. Thanks a lot. Yay! Of time. Uh, Mark Anderson, our MD, I believe, already left, but uh, we had his Venmo in, so please tip him well. Um, uh, but if you are a volunteer for this, turn on your camera and wave to the wave and take a little kiss to the to everybody. Thank <laughs> you to our volunteers. We work tirelessly. Hey, those are real glasses you're wearing on your on your face, Michael. It's not a it's not a zoom filter. Wow, or it's one of the best zoom filters I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and uh, let's uh, for let's end with we as we always end with a line game. That's why we have Brian Sebi for this week's line game. What you got, Brian? Yeah, so you know while we were I was watching We Robot, I I was inspired by just that weird opening scene for like a game of. Um, let's just find these weird things. Something like, you know, like say we're going to give a suggestion of a word and then you come up with a punchline based on that, but something weird. So like if I, the suggestion was banana and I said like, you know, this is weird. I was like this ax throwing place. There was a banana there, but man, that, that banana split, you know, just dumb puns like that. 
Uh, so just to get started, can I get a suggestion? Uh, oh, and just to say you're one, just turn on your camera. I'll say your name, give your suggestion then, and go on the next person. But can we get a suggestion of just an, an object of some sort, maybe? Xylophone. Ooh, weird things involving xylophones. Ugh, it, was, it was so weird. I thought I was playing a xylophone. It ended up being a skeleton cage. <laughs> Michael. That was weird. There's a xylophone with a foul mouth. You should have heard percussion. <laughs> you know, it, it was weird. I, I was at my doctor's office and there was a xylophone that was getting an x-ray, but then it had a Xerox something. All the X words I know. That's it. Okay, uh, so another word, maybe, maybe um, like a celebrity or something, or someone famous. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. You know, I was at this bar and I ran to Albert Einstein and he just called me an MC Square. Burn. I was, I, you know, it's funny. I ran into uh, Albert Einstein actually accidentally and I actually like punched him in the gut a little bit. He lost, <laughs> lost his breath. He kept going, <laughs> That's <laughs> a joke. That was yeah. a bad one. Gotcha. But a joke. Thank you. <laughs> Don Sullivan, please. I hey. ran into Albert Einstein the other day in a bar and I punched him and then he punched me. It was like an equal reaction. <laughs> nice. I mean, it's probably not nice you're punching Albert Einstein. I mean, man was national treasure. <laughs> I don't know. He was a science famous guy. Hey, yeah. that was so weird. I saw Albert Einstein was getting in a fight. Someone threw a punch, punched him, but he moved away at the speed of light. Nice. Okay, good. Took a long time. All right, maybe uh, what's what's like a an animal of some sort? Yeah. A bat. That's what I heard. Let's go with bat. You know, it's weird. I, I was watching the Cubs game and they're doing so badly that they just started using actual bats. <laughs> oh, God. Greg. This, uh, I know the city has crimes. We need a bat man. We do indeed. Michael. That was weird. My tennis team was meant to play a tennis team of bats, but they caved. Uh, mm. David. That was weird. The uh, bats were supposed to go to the uh, playing of the bells. They were going to play for it, but that ended up the bell was free. Oh, because bats in the bell free. Yeah, nice. You know, it was, it was really weird. I, I went to an improv show and I thought it was going to be, you know, kind of spooky, but the lights were just bright and everything. Oh, did I steal yours, Michael? No, it just, I was ready for a bat, uh, bat improv, bat improv pun. You, you did not steal mine. <clears throat> Go ahead, please. Uh, oh, that was weird. Uh, some bats were trying to get around into the dark all on their own, but they kept running into things. So far, so nar. So nar. <laughs> oh, you know what? We're going to end it there. Because I don't know. <laughs> can't, we, can't, we can't beat on so far, so nar. Indeed. So, hey, two things to do. First thing we have to do is I have to introduce next week's headliner. So that means I got to get the other thing up. There it is. There it is present and come back to you guys and then share a screen and then, hey look who it is next week we have binge watch <gasps> <Our partner. gasps> next week hey. diana brown and dan wilson we had to put them off a couple weeks ago so please come uh it's been, if you uh, a lot of us won't be here so spread the word because we'll we'll need people next week we might Actually, we'll probably all be in the middle of an afternoon, an evening session, so we probably won't be able to dial in. But that's next week. 
Um, and for now, let's take a picture of everybody. Laura, Zara, are you ready to take a picture of everybody? I am ready to take a picture of everybody. Uh, if you're still here, turn on your cameras. There's not that many of us, but we're here. We're powerful. Take a picture with us. Oh, Thank oh, you. Oh, oh yeah, oh, we've oh, got our second. headliners. I can fix Woo! this. Hold on, let me see. There we go. Again, <laughs> one, two, this. I'm gonna say one, two, three, pose, all right? One, oh, two, okay, three, pose. Oh, oh that was good, that was good. Everybody, <laughs> this has been the long, long form improv jam. One more, one more, you need some more people. <laughs> oh. All right, we will get you next time. We'll get next time. Oh, there it is. We've been the end. We are. So we